Hey everyone, Tommy Jordan here. So this is the Ruko F11 Mini. It's less than 250 grams, so you don't need to have it registered. Let's take a look see what all we have in here. Here's our inside, nicely wrapped up. Nice. Okay. So it's nicely presented, presented there. Here's our instructions as well. So we've got our user manual. So you can access... Okay, that's for the app then. So, okay, got it. So here is the user manual. All right, looks like a basic manual, although we do have some color to the images. Nice. This looks like a good manual. Definitely going to have to read that one and make sure I fully understand everything here. Nice case. A little strap. Nice. Let's go ahead and open up. Take a look at what we have. Here's our drone. Ooh, okay. Tinier than I expected. Oh, look at that. It's light, everyone. Very, very light. Feels real nice. Has a nice feel. Very, um, it's, I'm surprised how light this is. Wow. Okay. Let's take a look. Let's take a look and take that off. Okay, comes right off. Oh, nice. All right, well, that was simple. Came right off. There's our camera. Okay, good. The, um, the, the drone unfolds very easily. Legs lock into place. Has a nice feel. It has a very nice feel. I'm, I'm just really surprised how light this is. Here's our controller. Good. Flips out. All right. Okay, ready to go. There's our little uh, charger. Nice. Antenna. Very simple. So we have two batteries for the Ruko F11. Two batteries. These are smart batteries. Look at that. Box right in. Nice. Goes in real nicely. Hit it once and again. And it turns on. So far, this is a nice drone. There we go. And here is we have some extra blades. The blades look nice. Look at that motor. Good looking motor. This is a nice looking looking drone. It's the F11. I really like this case. Simple. Little compartment here. Nice. And when you're done, you just kind of fold up your controller. Fold up your drone. And put that inside. Very, very nice. And our batteries can go right in here. Very nice extra blades. And here we have additional cords for charging up the batteries. We have two. Nice. And these are mini USB cords. Good. Oh, this is nice. And everything fits in here. Very nice. Very portable. I really like this. This drone is so tiny, you can easily fit this in your pocket. I like that the camera is concealed in there nicely. Very, very nice. Let's go ahead and open up the app here. So go ahead, my camera, hover it over the app, hit my uh, thing, go to the store. Here we go, install. And now it's installing the app. Let's go ahead and connect my Wi Fi. So I'm gonna hit the Ruko F11, connect it. All right, and there it seems like it's connected now. So now that's connected, go to my app, Ruko F11. And um, there we go, app is initializing. All right, hit control, start. Now it's probably gonna tell me to uh, calibrate. And let's see here, unfold, unfold the phone holder. All right, enter the app, yeah, I did that. Check the GPS signal. So, you see how it's green? Green meaning that it's got signal. Hit go. Okay, so it's in GPS mode. Oh, it's GPS. Oh, look at that. I got, I got satellites too. So you can see here that in GPS mode, I've got my satellites. Nice. I have 73% battery power, full power on my controller. Tell me to do the compass calibration. Let's do, it, do that now. Right, and next I'm gonna do the gyro calibration. There you go, done. All right, look at that, I got um, the file system format TE card is not supported. Uh, let's reformat my card, so I gotta reformat the card. So formatting the card, 
there so the cards being formatted it says here memory card there you go memory card looks like it's ready to go 29 good it is detected that the current tf card is not configured as a high speed card and it performs poorly during high bit rate recording do you want to reformat and make it play the best performance hit submit yes all right formatting successful you can use nice all right so i've just formatted the card so it's all ready to go and uh it looks like i've got oh not a lot of power in my controller look at this i'm running low on my controller there um so if anything happens i can hit this button here and i can use my remote controller uh, on my phone to control the drone I also have um, return to home here. There's your compass, and you have all these different features: GPS tracking, orbit flight, route planning, VR, and so on. So let's go ahead and just go for a flight, though. Let's go ahead and turn this on, up and down like that. Go back and um, let's see. Are we uh, let's go ahead and uh, take off. Unlock before you take off. Okay. So right now, the GPS is on. So to unlock, up. Down. How do you unlock? Okay, I'm gonna hit my compass button to unlock. I'm gonna hit the button to take off. Okay, I'm gonna hit my compass button. I'm gonna hold down my compass button. And that should unlock the drone. Okay, so it looks like my controller might be too low. And um, that might be what my problem is, because my controller says low power. And because the controller is low in power, that could be an issue. So that might be what's happening while the drone is not responding to my uh, command. So if that's the case, which is my suspicion, let's go and just fly with the uh, with only the uh, phone. Okay. And now I'm gonna try using my phone to fly. Okay, hit this here. We'll hit remote controller and does that take off with the phone? So it has the return point has been confirmed. There it is, it's spinning. Up we go. Okay, so I am now flying using my phone. Now, the reason I'm using my phone to fly is because apparently my controller is low in power. So right now I'm just using my phone. But look at that. Whoa, whoa, okay. Came towards me. Wasn't expecting to come towards me there. All right, now you know, listen, guys. This uh, this doesn't. I don't know if this has a gimbal or not. I was under the impression it doesn't have a gimbal, but look at look at that quality. Let me record myself. All right, I just took a picture. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take a video. So I'm gonna hit change the video, and now I'm videotaping, recording myself. And let's see, see how the lights. Look at that. Not bad. So this is recording me. And I'm controlling this with my phone. Not bad. That's not bad at all. It's very responsive. Even though I'm using my phone to control this, that's actually uh, pretty good. Look at that. Now, I'm recording myself. Now, does that look good to you? Because it looks good to me. I can also control the uh, camera angle. How I do that exactly, I'm not sure. I don't know if this is it. Do you want to? Uh, no, no, I don't want to land yet. Uh, can I control the camera angle with this? Okay, I just, uh, oh, I don't want to descend. Turn it off. Oh, that is so cool. Hey guys, this, uh, this is pretty nice. You know what, I'm controlling this, look at this. All right, let's go ahead and I'm gonna stop recording. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it take a picture of me. But that is responsive. I think I might have that too fast. Maybe I have to change the settings on this. Okay, so let's go ahead and take my picture holding my fingers up. Look at that. Just took my picture. Nice, it's good to do it again. All right, awesome. Let's go ahead and do recording. I think you just hold your hands up like this. I think it took another picture, okay. okay. Let's try it again, here we go. I think you do this, yeah, see? And now it's recording me. How cool is that? Look at that. Um, does this have a gimbal? Cause that's pretty, that's pretty good. Um, I get that. I, this I didn't think this had a gimbal, but uh, this seems to be flying really good to me. That's pretty impressive. That's not bad at all, guys. This is uh, really. I'm using my phone, and this, look at that. Look at this. Woo! 
This is nice. Even with my phone. Not bad at all. I'm stop recording. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take it up to the top at the top of my uh, height here and see how it does. Okay, let's go ahead and take it up higher now. It's in 40. Let's go up Let's see how it does. Now I'm only using my phone. So there I am, climbing, ascending. And you can see the video. Now this is using my phone here. Nice and high up there. I lost control. Uh-oh. And I lost uh, connection with the uh, drone. GPS. Oh, there it is. There, we're back in connection there. You see it? Do you see the drone? I hope you see the drone. Let's go back a little bit here. Bring my controller back into play here. My controller. Oh, that's going forward. Okay, like right this one. Look at forward. All right, do you see the drone? So the drone is up in the sky now. I'm going to go forward a little bit more. And I'm going to turn it around a little bit. There you go. Now, am I recording? Let's get a video recording. Okay, so I am now recording with the drone up in the sky. That looks nice. That looks pretty good. That's, that's a good view, everyone. That's not bad at all. Let's come on down a little bit. Coming down. Now I'm using my phone to control this and that's pretty good distance there. That's a really good distance. Let's come towards my house. I think it goes fast though. Wow. There's my house right there. There it is. So I'm right over my house. Let's come on down. And I'm coming down. There you go. Let's come down. Do you see it? it is the drone is coming down now and there I am hello pretty nice guys I gotta tell you this is work off 11 I think the picture quality is pretty good look at that whoa a little too close huh let's do that again that was kind of fun huh now this is GPS mode right here but I have it on right here and um, how would it be if I took the GPS mood off? I'm gonna guess it'd be good too, right? I'm guessing. Alright anyway guys, this is the Ruko F11 Mini. Let me know what you think. I got direct links for you below. Check it out. That's pretty good. I mean look at how stable that's staying. I'm Tom and Jordan, everyone. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please comment below. Let me know what you think of the Ruko F11 Mini. I, uh, I think this is pretty nice. I'm looking forward to seeing how this works. But uh, so far, I think I like it. I think that quality is good, man. I can't get over that. I think the video quality looks fantastic. Um, now look at that. Look at the stability of this image. Here it comes. Let's try it again.